we'll call the board of Mayor Alderman a meeting agenda together for Tuesday, May the 9th at 6 o'clock. And the first item of business is we're going to have opening prayer by Brother Fred Shackelford for Ellendale Baptist Church. If you just please rise and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance afterwards. Pastor. Father God, we come to you just um, grateful. This room full of scholars and athletes and leaders in our city. Father, we are tremendously blessed. And Lord, we know that everything good comes from above. And we're grateful. Father, we... We do sincerely pray uh, for many in our city who are hurting, who are sick, who are mourning, who need your hand of grace, your comfort, and your peace. Most notable in our minds, of course, is uh, Shan and, and Terry, Terry and his sickness. Shan, as we know that we would much rather hurt ourselves than have those that we love hurt. So, Father, comfort them. Give them peace in this. And, Father, give these leaders wisdom in the decisions that they will make tonight. And, Father, protect all of us, but certainly those who run toward danger while the rest of us run away from it. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, will you read the uh, future meetings into the record, please? Our future meetings, Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, May 11th at 6 p.m., Historic Preservation Commission, May 15th at 7 p.m., Bartlett Arts Council, May 16th at 6 p.m., Bartlett Performing Arts and Conference Center Advisory Board, May 16th at 6 p.m., Special Called Beer Board Meeting, May 18th at 5.30 p.m., and Board of Zoning Appeals, May 18th at 6.30 p.m. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The, uh, as a custom, we always recognize any of the scouts we have in the room, and I don't see any scouts present. So if you're here, raise your hand. No hands being raised. So we have a few recognitions tonight. And the first recognition is we would like to recognize the Elmore Park Middle School Boys basket, basketball team. And I'm going to ask Coach Giesel to come up at this time. Here we go. Coach, we'd like to present this proclamation to y'all. The boys basketball team at Elmore Park Middle School skillfully played every top team in Memphis area this season, including Brighton, Ridgeway, Germantown, Kirby, Colonial twice, Kyville three times, Houston three times, and Arlington five times, including the district tournament championship and the sectional championship. Whereas all the teams that Elmore Park went up against, we were ranked top ten at the time they faced every one of them. Whereas the team of seven and eighth graders, under the direction and coaching staff, defeated Mount Juliet from Juliet, Tennessee, in the state championship game, which ensured the Eagles having the undefeated season and a remarkable 34-0 and record. So, therefore, as Mayor of Bartlett, Tennessee, we proclaim May the 9th, 2023, Elmore Park Middle School Boys Basketball Team Day. So, Coach, <laughs> just want to thank everyone, uh, our staff at Elmore Park, for being so supportive of us, all of the players. Um, it's really a special group of young men that are really focused and they're really serious about their grades and their basketball, and I appreciate Bartlett for recognizing us. Yes, sir. We've also got you an appreciation certificate here. Is, is Coach Alex and Eric here?
Come on up here, Coach. Is, Alex? I wanted to say the same thing and offer you a certificate of our congratulations and thank you for all your hard work. You. Just remain standing up here. <laughs> Coach Eric. He didn't make it. So I like this time, Coach, if you could get the young men up here like we talked about. <clears throat> So, boys, if y'all get out of order, I'm going to call you the wrong name. <laughs> so that'll be great. So, uh, Mom and Dad, if you're in the room, we're going to present each individual uh, team player uh, with a certificate of, um, certificate of congratulations. And at the end, we'll get a team picture. So, Mom and Dad, if you want a picture, get wherever you need to be. So, as I go down through here... John, I want to say congratulations, and we wish you much success, son. Thank you. Cooper? Congratulations, son. Mr. Webster? Congratulations. Braden? What position do you play? Point guard. Point guard, that's what I figured. Uh, Donovan? And uh, Mr. Kraft. Uh, Matt. Braden. Jensen. Like your shirt, son. Nicholas? Pierce? So what position did you play? I played center. Uh, I figured that too. Kaysen? If we can somehow, Coach, get all y'all in here for a group picture? In the middle. In the middle, yeah. So to it, just go scoot that way just a little bit. There you go. Turn sideways. Yeah, like that. There you go. Turn sideways like this. The other way. There we go. There we go. Come on, coach. That's it. Can we give him another round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you get that to coach. 
It's with great pleasure to pronounce this week. You know, you would you would think they would get together because there's a lot going on in one week. But this week is uh, National Teachers Week. Can we say enough about our teachers? Never enough said about our teachers. And if you're a teacher at any of our Bartlett schools, please come forward and join me. And I'll ask Dr. Stevens, he'd come forward too. Do we have any teacher? Here we go. You get on over here and get into John Scooting in. Come on, bring it in. Great teachers demonstrate devotion and hard work for their students and pursue creating a life of long, lunar, long learners. Teachers keep communities strong and they deserve the utmost praise and appreciation for their students, their parents, their fellow citizens. Teachers open children's mind to the majestic ideas and knowledge and dreams. Teachers, simply put, keep American democracy alive by laying the foundation for good citizens. It stopped right there, but there's still more. Teachers fill many roles as listeners, explorers, role models, motivators, and mentors. Can you just think back? Some of us can, some of us can't, but think back that far. How important a teacher was in the role of who you are today. And I guarantee they fit one of these places right here. No other profession touches so many people, such as a lasting effect, because good teaching grows in value and pays dividends beyond the classroom. The influence of our teachers continues long after our school days and our memories. Therefore, we proclaim May the 8th through the 12th of 2023 is National Teachers Appreciation Week in Barley, Tennessee. <laughs> good teachers start with good leadership and a good superintendent, making sure he gets the right people in the right places. And when I want to say thank you, David, I'd like to give the mic to our school superintendent. I know he has a few words he'd like to say. Mayor, thank you. I really appreciate you recognizing our teachers. Our teachers are the lifeblood of our district, but we also have some principals here. So principals, if you would stand up, all of our principals, let's give these folks a round of applause. Because, Mayor, without great principals, great teachers don't hang around. So they are so they, but but I am so thankful that our city recognizes the the, the value of our educators and our, how we have worked together over the now starting our tenth year coming up. It's hard to believe with Bartlett City Schools and the great partnership with the city. But from the bottom of my heart, teachers, I thank you. I know in about ten days you will be really really happy because <laughs> grades will be done and everybody will go home. And I think these guys over here are going to be happy too. Uh, but we appreciate it. We appreciate what our teachers do. We appreciate our city and we appreciate. You recognizing our teachers today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. One more, one more hand for our teachers. Now, pull it in. Hey, hey, let's get the principals up here too. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Yes, sir. Thank you. Three, 
for you guy uh, for y'all that don't know Bartlett High School graduated 632 seniors thereabouts last night at Bellevue and uh, we had two individuals uh, the uh, our valedictorian was recognized and I would like to ask uh, Mr. Mendizabel, did I get that right? Is he in the audience? She? Okay. She's not here. Well, we want to recognize her and tell her we've got a proclamation for her. And uh, today is her day, and we have a proclamation for her. And uh, we'll move to the salad the Salutarian, oh, just Lutarian, I'm sorry, I can't even read my own writing here. So, is Mr. Harris in the crowd? <laughs> Let me tell you just a little bit about this young man. He's a distinguished honor at Bartlett High School. He currently holds a 4.5612 weighted grade point average. He consistently maintained a demanding schedule of advanced placement and honors classes. He's a member of the Beta Bartlett High School Honors Academy, the Beta Club, the National Honor Society, as well as 30 other clubs, earning a 34. 30 Four ACT. Everett uh, recently earned the rank of an Eagle Scout, making uh, making improvements to local public parks to earn his achievement, and was recognized with the Dr. Charles H. Towns Award. And in his spare time, Everett enjoys music, karate, soldering, and 3D modeling. Additionally, Everett has given back to the community at the Mid South Food Bank. St. Columbia Episcopal Camp and Retreat Center in the Wolf River Greenway. Everett is the son of Darren, uh, son of Mr. and Ms. Harrison of Barlett, and plans to attend the University of Memphis to major in electrical engineering. Today, May the 9th, we proclaim this is Everett Harrison Day. Congratulations. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Paul Paul Wright come, our assistant director, assistant director of our public of our recs and parks. You didn't think so many things could go on in one week, did you? <laughs> so uh, May the twentieth, May the twentieth, two thousand twenty-three is the twelfth kids is the. 12th Kids to Parks Day organized and launched by the National Park Trust, held annually on the third Saturday of May. Kids to Parks Day empowers kids, encourages families to get outdoors and visit local parks, public lands, and waters. We should encourage our children to lead a more active lifestyle to combat issues of childhood obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and many other things. Kids to Parks Day will broaden children's appreciation for nature and outdoors. Kids to Park Day will recognize the importance of recreating responsibility while enjoying the benefit of the outdoors. I, Mayor of Barlett, Tennessee, proclaim May the 20th as Kids to Park Day. So I'd like to present this proclamation. And Mr. Roger, anything you'd like to say? Sure. So Kids to Parks Day has been going on by the National Park Trust, as the mayor said, for 12 years. Uh, this will be our third time to celebrate. Uh, we will be at W.J. Freeman Park on Saturday, May the 20th from 9 to 12. It's a great family event. It's free. We're going to have inflatables. We're going to have the Bartlett Fire Department, canine demonstration, arts and crafts, lots of games and activities from our summer camp staff will be leading those. Um, we should have some, uh, some free giveaways as well, things like kites and things like that. So we'd love for all of you guys to come on out. Like I said, family-friendly event. The farmer's market also kicks off that same day on the opposite side of the park. It opens at 8, so go get your fresh produce and items and then come across the other side and join us in the festivities. Thank you. (laughs) 
This is not a proclamation, but there's a lot of first going on. And uh, this individual here came in my office Friday, and uh, she was buzzing like a bee with joy and excitement. And I like uh, Miss Tommy Jean Moore and all those that are on our City Beautiful Commission to come forward. Tonight, I'd like to honor this committee for the most successful plant sale to date. And how many years y'all been doing it? Over 20. Over 20 years. Their profit this year, by the way, how many bought a plant, uh, bought some plants? So, good. Quite a, quite a few of you. <laughs> Their profit was $7,217.29. For the April 28th and 29th sale is a record amount earned, and it's a direct, flect, direct reflection on the hard work of all these people you see before you and the pride that they have in our hometown, Bartlett. Their dedication to the commission and to the citizens of Bartlett is appreciated. I want to thank you for a job well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And... Tommy, for those that, that's watching that may not know what the commission does, what do they do with the money, you want to give an explanation? Well, we're strictly volunteers. We get no money from the city. <laughs> <laughs> but I would get all the help from Public Works, and I'd like to thank Jonathan and his committee for putting up our tent and taking down our tent. So all the money that we raise, we put back into Bartlett. We do all kinds of beautification projects, but our plant sale is our biggest sale, and this is just the most we've ever made. <laughs> but without this team, we couldn't do it. I mean, it takes a village to put this thing together. It takes weeks to plan it. So only hiccup we had this year was we had some plants left that we were going to pick up and left up there on the spot on stage. We went back to pick them up, and they were gone. So somebody drove by and thought, oh, I think I'll get these plants. <laughs> so we were donating those to the parks. <laughs> But it was over $200 worth of plants, so, Paul, we'll get you some. <laughs> Thank you all very much. One more. I'd just like to mention that uh, this is National Correction Officers Week. It's May the 7th through the 13th. We here in the city of Barlett have... Uh, 11 jailers. Uh, so we just want to, if you see, if you know one that's a jailer and you see them around town, tell them we thank you for the job that they do. It's a tough job, and it's probably it's one that I don't think I'd want, but somebody has to do it. So for all those that are watching that are the jailers, we just want to recognize you and tell you we appreciate the job you do for the city of Barlett. And uh, just say a hello and a thank you when you see them this week. Is a good time. The junior chef. Huh? She was wrong. Give us just a few minutes to get the get the, let the crowd work down, the noise level go down.
At this time, Madam Clerk, can you read the approval of the minutes in the record? Minutes of the April 25th, 2023 Board of Mayor and Alderman regular meeting. Chair, would entertain a motion? Move we approve. Second. Been properly motioned by Alderman Young and seconded by Alderman Simmons. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, please go to your device and vote. Minutes from the April 25th uh, Alderman meeting are passed and accepted unanimously. Uh, moving to unfinished business, I just want to say that um, that uh, since our first reading, that we have we have looked at it, some of the fees, as Alderman Quinn had mentioned, and we've created a more consistent fee structure. And uh, we did add some increases to some of our non non member rates. And so uh, we've also done that, and we'll also be hosting a another uh, workshop meeting on Thursday, May the 18th. That's Thursday Thursday week, I believe that is. 18th, yes, sir. And um, the two items on there we'll be going over is our 20% emergency cash fund to our general fund balance. And we'll also, we've been presented since our first, since our last meeting too, we've also have a, another offer on the table from Light, Gas, and Water, and PFM will be talking in regarding the LED lights. So with those two things being said, we'll move to unfinished business. And Madam Clerk, would you read item number one into the record for me, please? Second reading of Ordinance 23-1, an ordinance to adopt the 2023-2024 General Fund, Street Aid Fund, Solid Waste Fund, General Improvement Fund, Drug Enforcement Fund, DEA Enforcement Fund, Drainage Fund, Parts Improvement Fund, East Citation Fund, Bartlett City Schools Fund, Utility Fund, Debt Services Fund, and Capital Improvements Fund's budgets. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And if, uh, it, when, if a motion is entertained, please remember to include uh, setting the public hearing for May 23rd. At this time, I'd ask Mr. Dick Phoebus, Director of Finance, to give a give a uh, um, update, please. Thank you, Mayor. As the Mayor has mentioned, uh, there were some uh, corrections made to Exhibit B that was attached to the budget ordinance, and that's the fees charged by the City of Bartlett for various events, uh, uh, Parks Department and other other agencies of the city that charge specific fees. They have been updated based on conversations with the uh, Parks Department and uh, administration. So they're in your budget uh, material. Uh, the budget document, uh, the summary, has been published, published in the uh, Daily News. It was done so last Friday, May the 5th. Uh, which complies with our budget uh, requirement to publish within uh, 10 days of the final reading. So I would, uh, based on this information, I would uh, urge you to adopt uh, Resolution 2301 on second reading at this time. Motion made by Alderman Rees. Second. Seconded by Alderman Jack Young. Is there any discussion? Quick question. Yes, sir. I could. Uh, is this as amended? Yes. So as amended with the new fee structure, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. Thank you. Back it. Uh, Alderman Quinn. Uh, I, I just want to thank you and uh, CAO uh, Sones for, for looking at everything over and all the directors for looking at their, their fee structure uh, and uh, looking forward to moving forward on this budget and also having the meeting on the 18th to take a good look at our cash flow and everything. Man, I, I realize this is a work in progress and and we need to stay on the timetable so we can get this to the comptroller so we can get everything approved in time. So thank you all. Thank you, Alderman Quinn. Any more discussion? So uh, hearing no more discussion, please go to your device. Motion carries unanimously uh, on uh, Ordinance 2301. Madam Clerk, will you read item number two into the record, please? Second reading of Ordinance 32-02, an ordinance to levy and assess a tax rate for ad valorem taxes upon real property and personal property in the City of Bartlett for the tax year 2023. 
Uh, in, thank you. In, Dick, uh, we've got a motion and a second on the floor. Is there any discussion? Any question for Dick? Mr. Phoebus, excuse me. <laughs> Hearing no questions, Mr. Phoebus, you did a fantastic job. <laughs> So uh, I did call any, there's no discussion. So hearing no discussion, no discussion, please go to your device and vote, please. And uh, that, uh, who made that motion? I did. David, and it, that included setting the public hearing for May the 23rd? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So if you would please go to your device and vote, please. Ordinance 2302 is passed unanimously. Moving to the consent agenda, there's five items on the consent agenda. Any of these items can be removed for separate discussion by any board member. Is there any item any member wishes to remove? Seeing none being, no one has a desire to remove anything. Madam Clerk, will you please read five items into the record, please? Item 1, bid for lawn treatment services for fiscal year 2024. Item 2, purchase of ballistic plates. Item 3, authorization to auction surplus property. Item 4, approve receipt of FEMA reimbursement. Item 5, treasurer's report for March 2023. So, been motioned by Alderman Reeves, seconded by um, Alderman King, I believe it was. So, is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, uh, Mr. Cox, could you just give an explanation for these ballistic plates? I was really intrigued by by the lightweight, and I and uh, you're a good man. You brought two of them, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. you know so what just man. just uh, they've already voted on it, so you've got them. But uh, okay. but just tell them, uh, give a little little update on those plates right there. I thought That's it was my, really uh, interesting. Best time to negotiate when I already got a yes. <laughs> no, it's time to replace our um, ballistic plates that we put in our vest to secure the officers to be against um, rifle rounds and other rounds that would penetrate a, a regular normal Kevlar vest. <clears throat> and so we're gonna these vests are gonna fit inside their 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 vest, and so they're they're there all the time. They don't have to reach in the trunk to get one. They don't have to reach under the back seat or anything. They're always in their vest. They're always ready, prepared to to go and do their job as, as safely as possible. These are very lightweight. This is a female version, female officer version, and it's just a rifle plate that covers up their, their, their section of their, of their, of their um, heart and, and chest area. So um, we're, they, we're now, the ones that we have will be expiring come July, and so that's why we're requesting to, to purchase some new ones. Thank you, Chief. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I could, Chief Cox, I mean, obviously we have SCOZO, actually is at Bartlett High School as well. Do they have plates like that? Like, uh, I mean, I know your officers do, but is Shelby County providing similar ballistic I've, plates like that? I don't know. That Shelby County um, Sheriff's Department? Sheriff's Department. I would think so. I, I can't answer that question for sure because I'm not sure exactly what their school <coughs> officer has at the high school. Um, I know, but I do know that the high school officer at the high school is, has them. Which, any way that maybe you can just make a call and find out for sure. I would hate for our guys to have them, but they not have them, and something happen. You, you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure that if Shelby County is there, that they have similar type of digs. Sir, sure. you know, I can do that. That'd be perfect. And the other, also last night, Mr. Mayor, I know there's getting ready to be a uh, uh, a safety uh, like a special session with the legislature in August. I know uh, Senator Rose and. Uh, Representative uh, Leatherwood are mm -hmm. interested in uh, the cost of these and whether or not that's something they would like to put in to uh, as, as an expense for our for officers in the school. So maybe it's something we have an opportunity, but uh, they haven't really thought about that. So I think it's a good opportunity to maybe educate them a little bit on maybe something they can help fund as I part agree. of that. Okay, thank, thank you. you. We're we're all up for them funding. Yes, sir. Like funding. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Chief. Ooh, let's see. Got a vote on it. A vote. Thank you. Uh, please go to your device and vote. Consent agenda. Consent agenda passes uh, unanimously. See, Cox, I had faith in him. I knew he was going to get them. 
Uh, now we move to new business. Uh, Madam Clerk, will you read item number one in the record? Resolution 11-23, Resolution to amend the City of Bartlett Fiscal Year 2023 American Rescue Plan Act Fund to provide for public safety equipment as authorized in the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. Mr. Dick Phoebus, Director of Finance. Uh, gentlemen, we have uh, roughly $371,000 left in our American Rescue Plan uh, receipts that we received from the U.S. Treasury. And we plan on, on using that for this resolution to purchase uh, police vehicles and cameras. And that's a legitimate, authorized use of funds uh, based on the final rules set out by the U.S. Treasury. Thank you. Chair, would entertain a motion? Move we approve. Second. Motion made by Alderman Jack Young. Second. Seconded by Alderman Robert Griffith. Uh, is there any discussion? One question. How many vehicles are we talking? How many vehicles? Four. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, I think there's 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 four there, and and we have four in our budget. <laughs> so uh, any any more questions? Yes, sir. Uh, Alderman Quinn. So, so this is the absolute last of the ARPA money, right? We do have some obligated for the oh. fire truck. Yes, sir. sorry for that. For but, 1.9 million. The fire truck itself is estimated at 1.65 million. We'll have to buy some accessory equipment for that, so we're not mm -hmm. sure how much of that we're going to use. If there's any left over, we can come back and appropriate the balance. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Madam Clerk, would you please present the roll to us? Thank you. Resolution 1123 passes unanimously. Uh, Madam Clerk, we read item number two to the record, please. Resolution 12-23, a resolution to amend the fiscal year 2023 Bartlett City Schools General Purpose School Fund and Education Capital Projects Fund. We just had a... Uh, this resolution comes to us from the uh, school department. They are amending their capital uh, projects fund to include $6,500 for the purchase of furniture at... Ellendale uh, Elementary, I believe that's right. Is that not? Yes. $6,500. I ask you to, uh, and we need to approve this. It's already been approved by the school board last, uh, well, April 27th, I believe. So uh, I think we had a motion by Alderman Rees and a second by Alderman Simmons. Uh, we did have a workshop today going over the budget that Dr. Stevens explained to us. It was at 5 o'clock today, and it is on YouTube, be on our city website tomorrow. So we had a motion and we had a second. Uh, any discussion? Discussion, questions? Seeing no questions or discussion, Madam Clerk, we, well, you're already up there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Resolution 1223 passes unanimously. That concludes the business for tonight, and we will open the floor up. Open the floor up to any uh, to our board first, and then our directors. Is there any item that uh, any board member would like to like to take the the microphone? S seeing none, any directors have anything they'd like to? Any have any desires to? Nothing from the directors. So if a citizen completed the open citizen form prior to the start of the meeting, they may come forward and state their name and address for the record. The citizen will have up to three minutes, in which a time a buzzer will sound and they must sit down. So if you're a citizen wishing to address the board, please come to the microphone at this time. Seeing no one come forward, Chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. Been properly made by Alderman Rees and seconded by Alderman King. This concludes the business for tonight.